Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Hi. Hey, just seeing who uh, is logging in today. So far, it's just us. That's going to ask me what took so long if I'm in the living room because I have to walk slow because you're in the front lawn and so I want to wait about five minutes and see who logs in. All right, let me share my screen. You should be able to see the folder now. All right, do any topics uh, jump out to you? I know Grandma D, you've probably heard like all of them, but um, which one do we think? Or Ms. Velma, if you're able to talk, I don't know if you have any thoughts on which topic you'd like to hear today. Maybe something with Christmas since since it's a, almost Christmas. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, let's see. I know there was a couple of them we listened to a few years ago. Let me find it. Okay, so it's download. It's gonna download this one. Uh, Christmas long ago. Let me stop sharing my screen so it can speed up. Oh. Okay, just a minute. I have to uh, change my computer settings to get this to download. So, hey, the.
Okay, it's taking a minute. We lost Miss Velma. Maybe she'll jump back on in a minute. This file's still downloading. Hi, girl, Martha. We are looking, I'm trying to download uh, one of our Kiowa culture program tapes. Um, we had an idea to listen to one of the tapes on Christmas since it's Christmas time. So I'm trying to download uh, the recording uh, tape uh, 241, which is Christmas long ago. I think it's one of the ones we listened to a few years ago. Sorry, not 241, it's 227. <laughs> And it says it still has three minutes left. It's a big file, so <laughs> waiting for it. <laughs> oh, now it says two minutes. No, it says one minute left, so. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, while we're waiting for that, um, Grandma D, are you oh, available? Would you be able I, to wait outside? I, I just, I can. I'll try. I have a sore throat, but anyway. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I'll try. Oh. Go on my down the um key the down I don't go down the key. Oh, they are going to a holly to go. Yeah. I come to get on the door, the dots I could get the ankle. Be though, get those on my day, all tall though. I hold to get on my and they get some in the don't go and get so they keep, get hands so I hold to get on. Yeah. 
the bar coat dog bar on the good time get up day and high get up day on the I mean get high get up the over dog I can't play the dog I hope man I hope Well, thank you for jumping on here, Grandma D, even though you're not feeling well. I hope you're... I feel fine. I just don't sound good. Oh, <laughs> that's how I was in October. <laughs> Place was all messed up for a few weeks. Let's see. Oh, I think our recording is downloaded. All right, let me pull it up. Okay, so... um. Grandma D, when we listen to it, um, I'll just, you know, pause and we'll give you and Grandma Martha and Miss Belma a chance to comment. But if you, you know, if you want to save your voice, let me know. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll pull it up. Okay, can you see my screen? Oh. Mm. All right, here we go. I'll cut. Kyle Culture Program, November 27th, 1979. We're at the Kiowa City office in downtown Carnegie. Our subject today is Christmas. Those present, Guy Tampey, James Silverhorn, Stephen Zotai, Gail Spotted Bird, George Coyadotti, Hazel Bolton, Esther Topa, Isabel Two Hatchet, Margaret Danko, Vicki Bodger, myself, Bessie I. Haiti. And this morning, our prayer will be by George Coyadotti. Chola, eight bell do go to lay on, the go to lay do back on. Him dog, yeah, go to go, oh, cause I quit dog, sat down. I get there. I did want to be the back on. Santa dog, he kick on the ya. Nay, they get paid a toy, pa, a bake ye. Ya dog on got pocket, eight get a part home pumpkin. Eight none day a cat no bar more be om de horn. Hey, my sandal, you at the hat the lunda ya be a walk on that. Be the legate none day a pale dog. Eight don the yaga, Condaya all the Santa Poet, they on them pon, but the Condaya been the potter. A lekaya could an ambition get boy em could be pagic yada, cabac yada. You eat a day dog, conge, but on the ya, they get ag about day when you had the dumb tight, they dumb tight. You know, the key dog, Motha, got I get the dog, a Londay, but no man, Margaret, it or the target, the Yanom da. I eat on near the key da, one near the dumb tight home, Tom, son, God. It or the back, Atom, the banome, the more popel to keep the car. Colonda, you may pay I get out, I could beg it a the corn and the good, but goggle, they they get no either. Could the pie go hang a dog, they date dog. I call goggle, they fail to get take it a good bit. I wonder, I could almost talk more. The higher thunder you get, I get them at all get or to the bill to eat at that. At I get the two get and go gingo get down them late or they pass and I'm I'm talking young but they pay good up bill by the amen. Okay. 
Um, would uh, anyone like to comment on his prayer? I think he, this first part he was talking about the subject, and he said, "Ah, oh, the eight ball." Yeah, talking about we're going to see the tree, meaning that the elders, I can't remember, said bead or whatever. That's what they like to say, and to see the tree, and then, uh. Then he used a term for being sick, something that I forgot. I can't pronounce that. But anyway, he's talking at the end about everyone who praying for everyone's health. And he mentioned a word. I think it means kind of sick or feeling bad or whatever. Or poyaget, something about poyaget, whatever that means. Maybe the Martha now remembers it better. So that's all. I'm sorry, I better stop now. Mm -hmm. Can you I hear me? I didn't quite hear all that part what you're talking about. I know that he was talking about all the people in the tribe and getting ready for Christmas, but that particular word, I didn't catch it. Yeah. I didn't hear it again. <laughs> Do you want me to play it again? Yeah, so see if I can get hold of that it's, word. It's, it's toward the end, I believe. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Let me rewind it a little bit. Yeah, I'm just toward the end. It is dark, cold, and on the Really saying prayers at the end for everybody. He was just praying for everybody, huh? Mm -hmm. For good health and, and those that are, are like maybe mourning or those that are, you know, feeling bad, like maybe yeah. physically or spiritually, is praying for everybody and then mm -hmm. talking about the goodness of God and then blessing us with Jesus. Mm -hmm. so it's really awesome prayer he was talking about what uh, all over the world well, christmas everybody knows about christmas mm -hmm. and, the, and the, the word was poyageta oh, whatever that means poyageta oh, poyageta oh, mm -hmm. How would you translate that, uh, Grandma Martha? Yeah, I get. I'm, you know what? I don't remember ever hardly hearing that. I haven't all. either. I haven't heard it either. Mm -hmm. I never heard it either. Well, yeah, I get tired. I have to figure out that first part. That tie kind of sounds like something, you know, is about something. Mm -hmm. You know, we're sitting on a horse, tie on you. Like that. 
but I have to figure out that first part. I'll look it up and see if I can find it. That's a pretty, uh, pretty term, pretty saying. Mm -hmm. Maybe it means, well, it's, it's a health condition or something that, you know, going along with the rest of his prayer, so. Mm. Mm. I have to work that one out, <laughs> check it out. But that's not something you hear all the time. I've never heard it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to uh, see if it's in the glossary at all. Mm -hmm. huh. All right. Well, I'll make a note to come back to that at some point. <laughs> Any other comments on his prayer? I could, uh, or you want me to press play to hear the first speaker? Press play. Mm -hmm. Oh. He doesn't know that. He didn't. And while he was talking, and he didn't know how the Kai was heard about Christmas, but he remembers when he was a little boy, 
Redstone, the church at Redstone. And then the, and then he said they talked about the beefs and then the camp and and then uh and then how the old being the, the all the old people he ended up with the tree how they they the weed up and then uh let's see what else I remember he said now uh, there are no camps we're all too busy we don't and it's not celebrated that the camps are gone nowadays and and so uh, uh, that's what I, I I that's my contribution if I think of more but anyway it was speaking of I thought it was interesting that um, I don't remember the date of these when they did these recordings, but it did say there were no more camps. I was to camp and celebrate like they did when he was a little boy. Oh, I like that he said that. Uh, that he said, "Ah, oh, he just saw me." Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, Grandma Martha Nell, would you like to comment next? Um, she kind of covered just about everything on it practically, but all I was going to say was he said he didn't know how they uh, learned about that and stuff, but he did mention something. He thought maybe it was um, uh, the, the Caucasians, the white people, that they learned all that from, you know, their, their tradition about Christmas. And then he talked about that. And she's right when uh, he said uh, that, they used to camp there at the church. Uh, he says, I know, which is those um, white canvas tents they used to have, that nobody does that anymore because people are too busy doing other things than they did back then. And that's kind of what I got out of it. Oh. What was yeah. the word you used for the white tents, those canvas I tents? I know. I know is what I heard. White call I know. Mm -hmm. I so. Mm -hmm. hey. hey. I think he said it like the the tent circle the can the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where they set up Indians came and set up around the church. And then um uh, oh go ahead. I was going to say, I never experienced that, but I did hear them telling stories about when they used to camp there. Hmm. So that's it. Did, did he say which church he was? Rich, Redstone. Redstone. Redstone, okay. Redstone, yeah. Wow. And oh, then um, he was saying, too, I'm talking about um, uh, uh, like uh, giving the gifts and then how now, now, nowadays we just do our own thing at our own homes. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't camp out and gather like that mm -hmm. anymore. That he at that time that he knew of. Mm -hmm. But I remember uh, when my grandpa John was the preacher at Little Ridge Church. We used to camp out at Christmas there. There weren't too many camps, but there were some. Some of the families camped out, but that's been a while. So I don't know if they still do that. If anyone does that anymore. Wow. Which uh, which church was that, Ms. Wilma? The one I'm talking about is a Little Red Church, oh. south, of Carnegie, south of Carnegie. Oh, okay. Wow. Did they do that at uh, like at Rainy Mountain? No, we don't do that anymore. But they did. They they did. About yeah. I don't remember what year it was. It was uh, families like Fred Sue and Dave uh, uh, Gladys Davenport and Luke Torbo and Kenneth Moore from the Shilako area. Anyway, they camped because they wanted their children to have the experience. Experience of a camp 
I can't remember the, the, the years it was. I think it might have been the 70s. I have it written down for but I, I can't remember. It was about the 70s that they did have a camp. I have, I have pictures of where it snowed. So not very much. There was, and it showed the camp. They had their tents and their pickups. Whereas I know the old days, they had wagon and team of horses. But they did that so that their children would know what the experience that they had. Wow. Well, that's awesome. As recent as the 70s to try to like uh, recreate it a little bit so they could share that with the kids. Well, the camping part, the, the Christmas program and everything is still the same. It's just camping that the, their children didn't experience. Mm. Oh. They, we still gather on Christmas night at Rainy Man. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Not Christmas Eve, but Christmas night. Christmas night. Paul, oh. when do you think they stopped camping at the churches? I don't really know. Maybe the 1950s, 40s? When they start camping for power, I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh. Right. Uh, I think I would say maybe the 50s. Oh. Somewhere in the 50s. Well, at Rainy Man. I'm referring to Rainy Man. Uh -huh. What about uh, for you, Miss Velma, for a little red church? Do you have an idea of when they might have stopped camping? I, I don't. I don't remember. Nice, I don't remember. Hmm. Oh. Awesome. Any other comments or questions? All right, uh, let's see. Um, we had uh, Lori and Hajona join us, so welcome. And we're listening, uh, in case any of you are taking notes, we're listening to Kiowa Culture Program recording number 227, and it's called Christmas Long Ago. And we thought it would be timely. So, and that was just the... Uh, the first speaker in this recording. So let's see. All right, uh, Co. Ego, Kida do Ego, get don't tap on the Ego, Ego, Aya Ego, get on the two, get on Kiabe dog in it. I'm going to take on all your hag and go talk, oh, Bobo, Bobo, and a dog, you want to go your hag in on the attack, get to be the be the guy who was a very old kid that could be the go hang it on the corner go boy on your head. Ego, on the account to be the government of the higher bounded together. Talk up, Baba, Haka, M. O. to go to the Zilwit, Oligo, Kurzem, Mayo. Ego, I'm I call it company. Oh, the go. Yeah, get, get, get. Oh, I like it. Oh, go, 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 go,
Do you want to start? Well, the speaker was Stephen Zota, even though it was all scratchy. And he said a lot. It's a lot to remember. 
but it was based from the style of the Fellow Man area. So that's the Christmas that he's describing. Tall Cope, a style man. And he described uh, Christmas there. And he said several things that were funny. Well, they're not, but they're the truth. <laughs> well, he's describing the camp and the people. The people went to the creek or wherever, and the women brought in, really tended to the camp and brought the water and saw that there was wood and they worked real hard and it was cold, but they didn't seem to mind. And then, and then the men were sitting inside where it was warm, he said. And then he described uh, <clears throat> Christmas and Oak and he, I think is what he called Santa Claus. And he came and when he came, uh, the children were all quiet because they were told to be quiet. And then I'm going while I'm skipping through because before I forget, my memory is that good. And he talked about some camped until the new year and they brought in the new year where they would. And he said, he didn't really see, you know, how the new year was going to be any better, but the elders enjoyed doing that and looked forward to that. So I better stop. My throat is getting. Okay. Oh, uh ho, Grandma. Um, Grandma Marcinelle. Okay. I, I seem to remember us going over parts of that before because the, in one of the stories they were describing uh, how hard the women worked back in the days. And, uh, you know, in this case, he starts out by saying that uh, when they arrived there for the Christmas holiday, that the women worked really hard and they uh, put up all the camp and everything and build the fires. And uh, um, the husband, the male, male of the family didn't really do anything. They didn't really have to do anything because she knew how to do all. And then she even went down to get that water like Miss Harriger saying. Uh, said it was so cold out there that their faces would be just red, you know, for the cold. But the women, he said, they're really something because they never stopped. They just kept working and doing, taking care of everything. And I was, uh, thought that was pretty neat when I heard it. <laughs> and uh, then he goes on to say that, you know, uh, they're waiting. And I never heard it called that before, but that uh, Oak and he is, uh, I guess, was what Santa Claus was uh, described as. And uh, they'd be getting excited because it's getting close to that time when they would gather and then eventually he would get there. He's even said the children are really expectant, um, uh, knowing that, learned how that Santa will come and they probably, there were gifts and things that were given to them. Uh, and I, that part I remember from talking about it before anyway, but uh, and like she said, he did say they camped into the waiting for the New Year to come in. So that, that was called a little while from Christmas through New Year. So and the cold camping in the cold. Uh, but um, anyway, he he just uh, described everything that what they used to do. But he always every once in a while said in there. But things are different now. You know that nobody carries that tradition on. Oh my. God. Oh, oh. Uh, let's see, uh, Miss Velma, are you able to comment? Yeah, I'm able. Hey. No. <laughs> no, I, I think that the, the part is, you know, he was saying one day call and my, you know, they worked so hard, you know, it was so cold and they were strong. He said, hey, they, that means they're, they were really strong and they were able to do all that and bring firewood keep the fire going and and then um, how the men just were inside with the kids where it was warm mm -hmm. so you know we as women we still work hard but probably not that not that hard <laughs> if, especially if it's freezing you know we sometimes we, we say no nope, we're not going out <laughs> but yeah but uh uh, Mar uh Dolores and Martha covered mostly everything so 
But yeah, it sounded like he was feeling sorry for the women because they had to work so hard in the freezing cold. <laughs> uh -huh. He did mention the social part. They enjoyed themselves and enjoyed visiting and telling stories. It was a was a good time for, to be there. Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. All right, any other questions or comments? All right, I'm going to press play. Okay. Uh, cool, I know the key. Get on top of the go Hank or Kida. Hank or Kida. How you hide from them? They are the more tiger, get off. No, I go. Go, go. But dog, go, go, dog, go, 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 don't have a dumb one have a dot for the go. I ain't go, don't don't go at some go. go I go, get down my the go, I'm the M E on her go, I'm dot I own where I'm all tidy yum look. I like I go your the go get come a go, hey go get hey go get go get come the all your day. Oh, get on high day, Lanko. Hank, go get dog. Hank, go dog. I hear that, but I am. Oh, they, oh, they, he all gets on key the dome. He can't get on con hell on. Hank, go December, get dog, then on con hell day. Oh, you get on Sunday. Oh, oh, talk, get dome, my day. No, you get paid, the guy, the key. The dog, how they go? They don't tie a go, I go. I go in, how they go, key, I go. I go, ah, 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 I go. I go, I get dog, say, um. Go, 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 yeah, boy, because I ain't got no either. I got it. I come that so hog yeah. No, I'll call it pay the boy to pay the good noy. Got do that so I get go get key boom. Oh, you did pay the go to the oil to get do. Oh, you did pay the sunny. Oh, you did so. Don't go out dog at all and then take the go. I long gaggy go, I had the key that you go eight, take the going at too low. And the door tight to side them, I got to a lot sand or door. I ain't go. I ain't go key that sand, sand there, ye key on to town. And call me the go, oil the key, go. The go holiday, do I go Christmas day, but down. Eight time the key that get up, I go. I go all home, baby. They go on to get caught on my go. Don't you go out of hand to the gun. I go all home, baby. They go on, 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 dog. Yeah, I don't say I own a good all on get toy on. No, no, I go call, go no big heart to go be dogs out to go take it there. That will behave with dog at two. But they're going to send get dirty, go back, but on my go on with take. I did so long, and I got Saint Bob on here and they don't. Yeah, I got a dog. Oh, kind of, they go, go, boy, you boy, point, but Saint Bob, and go, so high, I own you. Yeah, oh, you go, I go, and point, go. The only the two long, yeah, I got a go. Hey, come get a dog, they get on, no, on the gap pot, the Saint Bob. The gap pot. I am the two low, you hide it all now. And I am born. Oh, that was 
Okay. Um, Grandma D, are you able to start us off? Yes, that was a uh, Yale spotted bird from the Hobart area. And he was saying that uh, the, the, the pie was learned from the missionaries about Christmas. And he was saying it was probably about the time of allotments. And so uh, that's what the pie was learned. Of. I'm trying to be brief because I, I don't think I talk that much more. But anyway, and then he gave his own personal testimony of what about Christmas, about how uh, that was when uh, Jesus was born, God's son, and he believes that and he's a Christian. And then didn't talk that much about his experience at Elk Creek Church, but he did mention, you know, that his mother, it did say something about his mother. I better stop now, Melody. Oh, thank you, Grandma. Um, let's see, Grandma Martha now. I'm getting ready to leave here, but I'm going to continue um, listening. So I'll get back on here in a minute. Okay. Yeah, I'll get back. Okay. Oh. Miss um, Velma? I had a hard time unmuting myself. <laughs> oh, and then and then when he was talking about how, I guess explaining what uh, like why Jesus was born, like he said like because of I guess kind of like because of his uh, naughtiness or whatever he was doing that Jesus came for people like that you know, for 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 I guess we would say for sinners, and um, that. Um, uh, he, he, he's a Christian, he believes that. And then he mentioned like at the beginning that he thinks that um, after the, all the Kaiwas were corralled, I guess at, wherever they, at Port Sill or whatever, it was after that, that uh, um, about the, the Christmas Oh, and then and then he was saying that you know, like now we don't people don't really respect it. They, it's mainly money. They're more interested in money than, you know, gathering and and worshiping and celebrating the birth of Jesus. But money is the kind of like the, the, uh, the, I don't even know how to say it. Like they're more interested in the money than than uh, celebrating the birth of Christ, the birth of Jesus. Oh, uh -ho. awesome. That is good. Good to hear. Um, let me, we'll go ahead and go to the next speaker and see what we can catch from him, from the next speaker.
Pei dong tai go ki pong chan hai il no a on tai. So dai do de ho de do ki ha pet o do ki pei hai ke do. A kwen ka ha pel tong ke o ko mon hon de pao ke do do ke i he ka kya hiu ke pei to mo ke ki hai yo. ตมนนได้แก่กันบุดอกแอลดอเดมอนโซลันเปกมากเก็บเปกกองแมนเดชุดตอยอคอนเดมอนเกตอนเนกอนเดมอนอนอนคิวทุกอเกตอนนั้น
Hey, good day, Nico. Both a little dog, a half. Hey, good dog, a dog. Non gay got a kick of it all, say the gabber. Dog, a dog, a keep on some hell. Dog, a dog, a keep on some hell. They don't take or keep on time. No, I don't time. They don't take or keep on time. No, I don't time. So that dog, they don't get out. That's all dog get by high get out. I can't go out that long again. Mon on the pow, get our dog, a hanger. Can I help get bail the monk, get high on? The mon on the yak, con boat dog, a ill daughter, monsolan, peg a mark, get peg a common. They should tell your condemn, get on a condom on cute, who go get on and get a heel boat. Okay, an incense, it don't get on the yak dog. They think a kick will cock a combo by dog on. Ain't go ah, they dog him by dog he got. Oh, potato pig dog, get dog, they make a bait, though ain't go. I go, bat more, the coat, they are him by target. Ain't go tell you, ain't son, no me toe, or ain't go, can make all the sock beside. On the bed, tongue and solo, get dog, but no, get. Ah, cold, no ain't go. Oh, he be dog, ain't got dog yet, toy. Uh, he got bad on the. Ah, co. Oh, ain't got, uh, saint, toy, get dog, near law, he came down the. Kek on the paper, dog, ian on dog, on on that, ain't it, ain't that, don't monk. On on the, oh, he got do y'all, you know, I got dog, convey, I get bored, and then. Dog e dog and thought they can go sick at no get it so I eat the dog they don't on the country get target them big e dog the bar alum kick the bat mon don't get the coat the bat do dog e dog the don't pay load they make up up oh but on the you get no I can get hang can get all the game once ha. Ramathi, are you up to commenting or should we uh, call on someone else? Well, um, he sang the song and then he mentioned cedar and he said, we all smell the cedar and, and uh, when the Christian church, when you go there and you smell the tree, you see the tree, you smell the tree, and also everyone cedars off, you smell that. And then like in the Native American church, then he mentioned uh, two boys, he said, we gave them the cedar and told them to cedar off and the new year also. And so that's what we do. And people do that, whether they're Christian or not. It's just that God accepts everyone and God is the one who made the cedar. And so uh, it's just in bringing that out there. And then he mentioned that before then, he talked about the wise men coming and they brought him gifts and the, to Jesus because, and because they were wise. And so he's just saying that he considers uh, the cedar a, a good gift that God gave us. I miss what, the what do the words to the song mean? It said that God's son came to the world, to everyone in the world, 
and and uh, that makes me happy, feel good. It's very short, but that's the message. Yeah. Oh. That's a pretty song. I wonder if uh, we can write down the words to it and see if we could all learn it. Well, you can write and you can hear. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't hear and I don't write. So that's that's all. Oh. He said um, when he was talking about, I th maybe it was when he was talking about the gifts, he said, Dawat Gyadoi. What was he? Is he talking about medicine? No, I'd have to hear his whole sentence to see what he's talking about. Okay. Oh. But go on to Bella. Okay. Uh, let's see. I, I think uh, Grandma Martha Nell had to hop off for a minute. She said she'll jump on again here in a little bit. Um, Miss Velma, are you able to comment? Um, I think Dorothy said most everything. I'm in a loud place now. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Awesome. Well, maybe um, during the week, um, I'll go in and listen to that uh, his song and see if uh, I can uh, write it out and try to listen to the tune and see if we could sing it next time, maybe. That'll be my homework. <laughs> All right, awesome. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I'll go ahead. Does it, are there any other comments or questions? All right, I'll go ahead and play the next speaker. Hey, with the key. Hey, go. Hey, go get the day. Don't. Don't eat the door. They get the way. Go out there. Don't eat. Okay, go. A maton dog with the airport. Yeah, hi, yeah. Hey, thought you. Oh, he dog. Go. And again, and hey, go. That's all good. And I love you. Yeah, I get. Don't go get out there. The walk over here, kill. Or then don't get. The wheel, but I saw you. Yeah, you but have a hey, be it or not. The wheel made a soul. Or they go and I hate it. Or they go, I'm hey, the guy. No, go no sad go go do all the time to do it. No, be do no go by the door. Hey, go talk it I give you e ball get the tongue go get the no go up or two low ah ah hey go send my day. Yeah, hi again. I go go at how you by gun. I don't care. Okay, I can oil don't pour the thing in don't but on the on the target they go get Sunday I go mad so it don't get it don't say pay it all but board it all and on the yeah on it all my tongue yeah yeah and oil don't say my yeah on the guy, doggy gun, don't bother the eye. I get a cocoa hay, conky day that by go hard or it's silking go hard till don't get it so. On the get on sank it all he sank. They go both sad, they got not over tall corn, let's see, go no, I did. Sad to get over tall, let's see, go no, I did. 
Did you catch who the speaker was? That's Hazel Botan. And uh, she said when she was a young girl, <clears throat> her father used to camp at Redstone. And they had a tent, I guess a wall tent, but he put up a teepee also so that the men could go in there and smoke and visit. And then she also talked about the cedar, that the, they liked the smell of the cedar. And then uh, on Christmas Day, uh, they uh, will go in and you know have their children who were eager to get their gifts. And, then she and then she said uh, 
they went to Redstone for two or three years. And then the next year, there was a church or mission called Big Bow Mission. And so her father decided that he would, they would camp and they would begin Christmas at Big Bow Mission. So, so her father and Ned Brace started that. And so they could camp there and and they butcher beef so that they could have meat to eat. And then the Tannadol family joined in. And so she said there were a lot of people there. And then they would have revivals there before Christmas. And then on Christmas, they would have the missionary barrels. And then also the women worked and made treat sacks at those. And then later, uh, uh, Big Bow Mission became Cedar Creek Church. And, and, uh, and then uh, they, I think they built another building for Cedar Creek Church. So that's all I remember. And she also mentioned about the cedar. That everybody liked the tree, the smell the cedar. Oh, wow. Oh, it just went dead. Uh huh. Did it say something? Is it over? No. I hope, Grandma. Uh, let's see. Miss Velma, would you like to make any comments? No comments. Aho. Uh -huh. There's Miss Marion. Hi, Miss Marion. Let's see. We are going through a uh, recording from the Kiowa Culture Program. It's Kiowa Culture Program tape number 227, and it's called Christmas Long Ago. And we're about, it's like a little over halfway through it. So we were just uh, finished listening to uh, Hazel Botone speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just listen. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press play. Ah, uh, cool. Um, and the candle. Hey, I'm key. I'm Hank and Kuta. Hey, I'm the Kimahuta. Hey, Kango. Yeah, the dog, he go and take. Oh, being to a dog, I am cooked to go get. I could go by the dog and go. No, I don't go. I had the only dog and go to go. He go and eat a hank cooked. All will be a more. I call my dog and go. And yeah, he go. Being a toy, a dorm one by all the good ago. Being paid gold bill to get more. Put a poor go. A key of some ago. My daughter go beyond one cold. I call oil donkey daughter. A gun and don't bore. I go. 
Okay. Um, let's see here. Can we stop sharing for a second? Grandma D, do you know who that speaker was? Esther Chopa. Esther Chopa. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, would you like to make any comments or should we uh, come back to you? Well, uh, she didn't say which church she was just describing Christmas camp. And she mentioned that there was a camp car who walked through the camp and told about the day's events. And then also, she said it was good because of a good time because the camp car was calling and then individuals would be, um, I guess, like a camp car asking people and inviting people to come to the camp and eat. And so that was a good time. It was, or it was the, everyone was, um, inviting people and it was just a good time for fellowship and and uh, like I say she didn't mention the the word the, the place the church but she did mention about 
uh, church services and and the uh, part that women played a big part. They did most of the work. <clears throat> and then she said that was the, the adults, the, the elders were the ones who seemed to enjoy doing all this camping and and visiting and cooking and eating with one another. And she said today it was good. And today it doesn't seem to be the same. It seems to be that the attention is geared to the younger generation getting them gifts and and uh, but that was all right. So, so she enjoyed the, the the way it used to be when adults took, uh, uh, did most of the work and the participation. Oh, 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 uh, let's see. Um, Miss Marion, where would you? Be willing to comment? Um, let me say, uh, Dorothy, I mean, Dolores said she, uh, when she first started, of course, she mentioned the women, uh, did a lot of things to very industrious. And she talked about the camp crier, which I thought was great because it reminded me of when I was uh, young, there were camp crafts that we had at different events. And um, that was how people learned. And they were there was so much uh, kindness in the camp. And she really stressed the fact that the women uh, were helpful, industrious type of uh, people. They prepared everything. They were, they knew, what to do, and she was talking about the Christian part, and she said there were a lot of Christian, a lot of uh, religious people, because they all had prayers, and through prayers, um, they also gave many items back and forth, because as she says, everything is different now, it's changed. And she goes back and says, um, didn't say Christmas, but she says, you know, this was also for the children because they received toys. And, but I agree with what um, Dolores had to say. Oh, oh. Uh, Miss Belva, would you like to comment? No comment. I agree with what they said. Oh, aho. Uh -huh. Um, did any of you catch the word for Camp Crier? Good guy. Good guy. What was that? It's like you're uh, calling someone by Yaku Gole, which means like he was calling the people together. I mean, that, that's what he was, or that's what, that was the word I heard. But oh. yours might have a different uh, word. Is it the way Luki? Uh, what was that? I don't, I can't say it because I'm get sorry. Get the way Luki, the one with the big voice. Right. right. Yeah, that's a cat car. Uh -huh. Oh, say. <laughs> it's uh, you said don't edel key. Yeah. Oh, awesome. 
<laughs> That's a good way to describe it. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Table. All right. Um, any other questions or comments? Okay, let me uh, go to the next speaker. He ain't gonna get to some. Uh... Don't <laughs> Nago <laughs> By body, the more and go go dog and take Toi togo, oko pabi patogo aton, te pitogo, opeha nahtil. Ike kumo, te heiko, eko tsoi goa puhtil, eko pago goa pako do katil, te sikana puhtil, tsolha. Kote genko, ja tosan ma tetsu heiko chiita omdeta, chiiteita paiko, eko hondi, ja on tattusan ma kariko on ho ja kom pa o koi koi komi kariko jo koi ho to so e ko te ti ja ta te ko hon de ja kon ko ja ko so e ko mayo pa te ko al ja to kariko o ko tonsi ja to to ko ti ja de ki ja ko so ko ก็ฮะฮะเจก็ฮ่องก็เจาะตัดซะเต้ปอยเต้ก็เจาะเจ็บไปเต้ก็อุ้งดิเจ็บปอดก็ก็ดิก็เอ็มคู่จิตตัด
เอ่อที่ที่ตัดไปก็ก็เต็มที่ก็พอขอดอกให้อยู่ดอกก็ก็ไม่กูมองไอ้กูช่วยยี่ดิตัดไปกูมองอีพอก็ดิตัดก็ห
He says, today the toys are different. And today you can touch a doll and they make noises or they cry. And that things were different uh, long ago. And so that's, that's my contribution. Oh, oh. Uh, let's see, Miss Velma, you like to comment? Uh, they they covered everything. I agree with what they said. Oh, oh. Uh, all right. Let's see. So, I'm not sure how many more minutes we have in the recording, but we probably have enough time to listen to one more speaker. So I'll go ahead and press play. Hey, get those on the key, Hey, go and get those on. Oh, hiya, hiya, pay to get high, they get they on ya high go. Oh, go, 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 and key out of the hiya on the hot they get on top. Get the get all money. I paid the money. They go. They go. So money get all money. They know how many I got. They ain't got to have it. Have it go your high and they can't go to that. They got to pay off the money. Get to that my day too. They got to look. And I hope I could not take a more cool dog. How about get old or get bang a cool dog? We can't ban a book. I saw um oh. I get here on. Get old, may he go boot. My you a dog he go awesome car to an him caught on time they go get more hook the they key they go gone so they get 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 more who get because I'll tell you they man oh they go back up the town where I hope they go they go on they go Come <laughs> Yeah, or they go get he untidy on with don't get my you be half don't get so he back no I'm but I ain't tidy my dog can't be go and my dog can't be tidy by hey be my dog can't be. He got so long, get the home day. go. Mon get the um get he go. He go and can he don't get. He go get more gay and go being gay. I go M con. Can you M con? My eye is easy, but we. Um, a tap of ball and button. So, the bar named Cool. Oh, they get all the oh, get going, but get high, get the they all talk, they can get the one, one get all the. No, he go on to get all day on the day. Hey, oh. No, ooh, ooh. 
Well, she she didn't identify a church or anything, but she also said she didn't know uh, when Christmas started among the Kaivas because she's younger. <laughs> and then she did say that uh, they kept, she said, her. No matter what the weather, they they kept, and uh, and then they, uh, but uh, the uh, women uh, prepared the camp, and they all used uh, the wagon and team of horses, and she said they were early risers in camp, and. Uh, Everyone got up, and then the camp choir would get up and say, "Women, you women, get up and make start making the coffee." And then they had an early church service, and then after that, they would uh, eat their breakfast, or their morning meal, and they would invite different ones. So and so, come to our camp with your wife and eat. And uh, that's what she remembers. She said, Today, we're not as hospitable or kind. And that's what she missed. It's Oba. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, let's see, uh, Miss Marion, would you like to comment? Yeah, I'll just make a, just a couple of comments because Dorothy, I mean, Dolores, I keep saying Dorothy, Dolores uh, covered. Yeah, she didn't, she said she didn't know how or how, how her parents grew up or didn't know about Christmas, would it? And uh, it was always cold, of course, winter time. And the women they dress had to dress warm because it was cold. And they prepared everything. People arrived early in the morning and they had to start the fires and early. And then of course the uh, camp choir went about and he called everybody to church early, early. But then there were people that um, had uh, food prepare and they invited people to come and um, everybody was kind respectful to each other those things are forgotten now and the women would always set the food out whenever people came and people there's no such uh, kind invitation today as it was in the past. And, um, I think that was the emphasis on what she was talking about. That's it. That's my comment. Oh, uh -huh. And uh, Miss Velma, 
Would you like to comment? No comment. They, they covered everything. Oh, I hope. All right. Um, let's see here. It looks like we have probably it's going to be two or three minutes left on that recording. But um, we're at our time for today, so we could uh, pick it up next time. And uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, write down that song, that, that uh, Christmas hymn that they sang. Um, so let's see. Um, with that, I guess we can uh, close close out for the day. Um, let's see, Miss Marion, they uh, not say. Okay, I hold a dog key. Thank you, ไอ้ตอนนี้ไอ้ตอนนี้ไอ้ตอนนี้ไอ้ตอนนี้ไอ้ตอนนี้ไอ้ตอนนี้ไอ้ตอนนี้ไอ้ตอนนี้ไอ